Hey guys, I've had uh, questions asked about my shooting bench and what the dimensions are. Um, there's two ways you can go about it. One's to just use a, a half sheet of ply. Um, the New Zealand measurements for a half sheet are 120 by 120. Or you can use a full sheet of ply as your top. And in this case I've cut the top down to um, 150, so 1 1.5 metres. And then we're still at this 120 length. The reason why this one's quite long is because I actually use it as a workbench. So I might have two or three rifles on the go at once and I can do my gun cleaning on here while I've actually got one on the bags, okay? So if we have a look at the front here, this is the more important stuff. Um, the V that I've cut out allows people to shoot from either uh, the right or the left here so they can really lean into it. A bit of room for bellies and boobs. Okay, so the cent centre cut From the centre, and as you can see, I've just guessed this one. I read it out. Is uh, 70 centimetres? Okay, and the depth, 700. Yep. 700. Yeah. And the depth is approximately 500. The width of the cut at the front is 200 mil, 20 centimetres. Right. The legs are made from four by four, and they are dug into the ground. Um, I can't remember what the typical 4x4 length is, but anyway, the actual exposed timber comes to 860mm, 86cm. So they must be 1m lengths, I would say. I believe that's what they are actually, 1m 4x4s. And then through here we've got our 4x2s, and I've left a bit of overhang at the front, a wee bit of overhang at the rear. So the length of the 4x2s is 1400 and then through here there's this piece of 6x1 which is just to stop it from um, rocking backwards and forwards that way but also to keep cattle from getting in my bin on the inside so we've already got the measurement here. Um, the bin is covered with a sheet of um, tarpaulin just because the sun attacks the wheelie bins so quickly. I've just got my sandbags in there, it just keeps them handy, doesn't mean I have to lug them backwards and forwards all the time. So I've got my wheelie bin, tarpaulin, a couple of bits of wood to keep it all together. Right. And if you've got a, a full sheet of ply, you could probably make the 6x1, you can make that out of ply, you can make the seat out of ply, That's and right. use the yep. rest of the sheet if you... Yep. Yep, we'll do so that. So just note that the, the seat, the centre of the seat is centred to the ply, so it's not in front, it's not behind. It can be a little bit difficult to climb in and out of, but once you're in place, it's a very, very comfortable position. So if we have a look at the measurements on the inside here, they're roughly um, 800. And that's roughly it. Underneath, we have some reinforcing across, but not a heck of a lot. Just to make sure that the bench doesn't bounce. And that is a good solid shooting bench. We put a piece of um, carpet or blanket over that, felt blanket, sandbags on top, and you're away. Very good.